has been a feature of Sligo Rovers. I think that some of the uh, Sligo Rovers fans, Alan, have been a little bit disappointed with the set pieces so far this season. Yeah, they, you know, the first game here against Dundalk, he was, I thought he was very good, and then he just hasn't, uh, he hasn't really produced since. And, uh, and, and it's not only him, Walter uh, as well, and it's disappointing when you get into them positions. Good run here by Jordan Gibson, holds it up and tees it up for Bulger. Thought about the shot, maybe now, and he cracks it just wide. Well, you were expecting the net to bulge there from Greg Bulger. Flashing just past the upright. King with Mountney getting down the right-hand side for Pats. Holds it up and feeds it back now for Chris Forrester. And Forrester, scorer of those uh, two goals on Friday night. Back to Lee Desmond. And Desmond to have a crack at goal. Ricochets off. The uh, attacker, Matty Smith. Ball into a very dangerous area. Ronan Coughlin's in, and Ronan Coughlin can surely score here for Pats, but he hasn't somehow. What a chance. What a chance. What a ball by Chris Forrester. Um, no one got close to him, and that, that is exceptional ball. Uh, Ronan Coughlin should have done better. He should have finished it. Uh, I think McGinty got a little touch on it. There is quite a blustery breeze present at the showgrounds this evening. You can see the uh, jerseys rippling because of the breeze blowing cross field as Forrester delivers and the header comes off the top of the crossbar. Well, uh, great chance, uh, Paddy Barrett. Um, great ball by Forrester, as we said there. Um, he's very good from dead ball, dead ball situations and um, luckily for uh, Ed McGinty, um, it hit, went over, hit the crossbar and over. Well, Mahan sending it on for Robbie McCourt and McCourt down the line for Jordan Gibson, checks inside. Well, he looks a real threat here, Jordan Gibson, and he's galloping inside the area. Still, Jordan Gibson, he goes down, and it's a penalty. Yeah. What a run by Jordan Gibson, and referee Neil Doyle has pointed to the spot. And that's what we're saying. That's when he's out wide, he's most dangerous. And uh, what a great run. Um, it's, de it's definite penalty. Uh, Paddy Barrett, you could see that he's coming at pace. Um, he couldn't really do it, and he gone straight into him, but it, yeah, it's a pin. And it will be the man who was sinned against to take it. Jordan Gibson to fire Sligo Rovers into the lead here at the showgrounds. Early in the second half, Yaros has only conceded three league goals this season to date. Can he keep out this penalty from Jordan Gibson? Gibson for 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil Sligo Rovers. Yeah, great, great, great take a penalty by Gibson. And as we said, that's why he's so good at the, since the year since the start of the year out wide coming on and there he's got his just awards coming won the penalty slotted away nicely King cutting inside Horgan tracking his run all the way here's Matty Smith placed by Mark Byrne that's a decent delivery for Ronan Coughlin and that's a super save from Ed McGinty what a save by Ed McGinty yeah I, th I think Mark Byrne's getting a little bit tired here um, Billy King is, is getting a bit of joy but uh, what a great header by um, by Ronan Coughlin and uh, to be honest with you I thought Ed was was caught, caught out but a great save he done well to, to claw that around the post the court to Gibson and Mahan rather aimless but it'll work out here for Sly Groves Johnny Kenny to Figuera and Kenny continues his run Johnny Kenny could be in to wrap it up surely just wide yeah what a chance what a chance I, just fa I fancied him to score that but uh, what great play he's, he's, he's took the ball down um, he's played it out wide and a great ball in by, uh, by Walter but um, so unlucky Vitaslav Yaros joining the attack here this surely will be the last play at the showgrounds a cluster of players inside the penalty area as the corner is swept in and it's flicked on by Birmingham and it's in they've done it they've rescued it St. Patrick's Athletic what drama at the showgrounds. Corner kick in the dying seconds. And Ian Birmingham, the skipper, rose high and heads in. It's 1-1. Well, frustration for Sligo Rovers at this late stage, conceding from a set piece. Ian Birmingham drawing St. Pat's level. And Neil Doyle has a check of the watch. And he calls a halt to proceedings. What late, late drama at the showgrounds. Ian Birmingham rescues a point for St. Pat's with the last play of the game. And St. Pat's have managed to dig out a draw here. They maintain their unbeaten record in the SSC Electricity League Premier Division. Jordan Gibson gave Sligo Rovers the lead from the penalty spot early in the second half. 
Birmingham to the rescue for St. Pat's. It has finished. Sligo Rovers 1, St. Pat's 1.